Hi everybody! Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. Okay, so I wanted to um, mention to you guys about the different pouring mediums that I've used throughout lots of different videos. Um, I do switch it up. I do experiment. Um, lately I've been sticking to the same pouring medium probably the last uh, six videos or so because I've been getting re good results and I'm going to stick with that um, for now. But the ratios are sometimes different. Anyway, so if say you're watching one of my videos and you like that painting and you're not sure you know, what the recipe was or whatever, maybe you didn't catch it, I was always saying it, go to the description box, okay? And I put all the recipe for the pouring medium in every single description box uh, and the paint ratio and I write the colors. So if you're wanting to try one particular painting, go to that description box. If for some reason you still need help, uh, not a problem. S write me a comment, I always will um, comment back anything that I can do to help. Okay, so, uh, oh, and for any newbies out there or people that haven't tried it yet, um, got a lot of people messaging me and it so warms my heart so much that they're gonna try it. So, <clears throat> my best advice, pouring medium, is the one I'm gonna be using today. It's uh, 12 ounces of uh, glue all, not just Elmer's glue, glue all, and six ounces of Floetrol, and three ounces of GAC. Okay, that's the pouring medium that has given me the best results through all my experimenting. I use uh, 30 grams of paint to 90 grams of pouring medium. It gives me 120 grams in the cup, which is this much right here, about half full. And I don't add water. Uh, water tends to mess with the consistency and I am really looking for consistency. So um, that's, and I'm gonna write that in each video. If I do change it, it's written in that description box. All right, let's get started with this painting and I'm gonna show you guys my colors. Just real quick, I already mixed up the colors for this painting, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you um, exactly how I do it. Now, I, I don't know how I would do it without a scale. Like, I love the scale. But um, the pouring medium, this is the cup. I know I've showed you guys before, but I just wanna be clear. This has ounces on it. This is a dollar at Home Depot, this, this cup. It's got lots of numbers on it, but it's got ounces. So it's 12 ounces, I don't know if you can see. 12 ounces, doo -doo -doo, right there, of glue all and then six of Floetrol, and then three of GAC, and then to mix it up, and this is what you get. Whole pile of pouring medium. And it stays good as long as there's a lid on it, or a piece of plastic with a rubber band or something. As long as there's not air getting to it, it stays good for uh, a good long time, if you don't use it all or whatever. Okay, so uh, here's my cup, here's my scale, and I'm gonna put 90 grams. Pouring medium. I'm watching the numbers go up. Oh my God, I got it right, right on the nose. 90, boom. And then 30 grams of this brings me to 120. Okay, now it's getting low, Naples yellow. Now, if you put the teeniest bit extra, it's not against, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, try to be consistent, but a gram or two or five isn't going to make that much of a difference. Okay, and then mix, mix, mix. This is soft body, it's not a heavy body. So, it doesn't take that long, especially with the thicker stirring, the tongue depressors. These aren't stir sticks, they're tongue depressors. Um, and lately, I have been having issues with air bubbles, and so my remedy to that is 
make the paint the night before I plan on painting. You know, I don't always, lately I have been, just because it helps with air bubbles. The thicker mix, the air bubbles kind of get trapped. When I did the one to three pouring medium, that's done. Okay. So the way I like to see is I'll make a trail, a circle, and then it kind of disappears right away. You see that trail? Maybe I can get a little closer to you. A hill on a hill. Okay, and that's exactly 120, which um, is a good amount. I've got six colors here today to do in the painting. Let's get to that. So what are my colors today? Okay, I've got um, Windsor Newton Burgundy. I don't want to stir it until I put um, silicone in it because it's just going to put more air bubbles in it. Um, Windsor Newton Deep Turquoise. Pretty. Uh, more Naples Yellow of Artist Loft, the one I just made. I made that one for another painting. And the uh, Liquitex Basics Olive, Light Olive Green. Love that one. Windsor Newton Permanent Magenta and Blick Artist Acrylic Cadmium Yellow Medium. And then the white, I use the uh, White Flow Acrylic. Now, let me tell you, this is looser paint than these soft bodies. So I kind of have to do, I haven't measured it exactly, but I, um, it's closer to 50-50, or maybe two parts um, pouring medium to one part paint. Did I say that right? One part paint to two parts pouring medium. Yes, I would try that and try to get that same consistency because this one I just kind of have to feel it. Um, and that's the colors for today. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I just squirted a little bit of this spray silicone in the cup, one squirt, and then I just take a paper towel and kind of dry it out. I don't want too much of that because I am going to be putting treadmill, spot on treadmill in this one. So um, here's the one where I forgot the silicone. <laughs> I didn't give it a name, but um, someone said it looked like a Aurora Borealis. I think it's called, which I thought that was really sweet. Um, the metallics, now there's no clear coat on it, um, are not really standing out. It's almost like they just kind of sunk away a little bit. But I think if I put a clear coat, some of these little copper um, bronze may pop out a little bit more. But anyway, there it is dry. Dried really well. Really happy with it. Okay, first things first. Um, I have decided that I'm only gonna put two drops in each color. I like a little background and I, um, again, I like to change things up. I'm just gonna use two drops of silicone in each color. Except white and I'm going to stir well. I find that really helps with the caterpillars. I don't like them. And if I can not have to deal with them, that's great. All right, here we go. This is really full. <laughs> right next to each other. There we go. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a good day. It's always a good day when you get to paint. Right? Going in with the burgundy first.
Oh, um, I didn't mention I am going to be using 12 by 24 size canvas today and I am going to use my gallery wrapped. So I have high hopes. High hopes. I've had a really great day today. Really great, really successful work day. Get over here, come on. There it goes. And the weekend's almost here. This is the Naples yellow. Now this is the one to four ratio and it's still plenty thick. Plenty thick. I think the one to three is too thick. The glue is, uh, makes it thick because you know the glue is fairly thick all by itself. The Floetrol waters it down a little bit and the GAC waters it down a little bit. So I know sometimes I repeat myself in some of the videos, but I get the same questions. Um, so I'm just gonna keep on, you know, repeating those important factors about, you know, how to mix and things like that. Anything I can do to help. Um, not everybody's experienced. So I'm trying to help those that don't have experience yet. So I really want them to have a good outcome when they try it. It's a, it's a great feeling when you get a painting that you like and then it dries, you know, the way you want it to dry, dries nice, and it's hanging on your wall and, and you just have that wonderful feeling of, I created that, you know? makes it worth it every penny and the journey as well making the painting is so fun I have been doing a little online shopping for paint supplies, a place called Blick. And, um, you know, you guys, I talk about it a lot. You know, I'm a price shopper. I may, uh, you know, try to find a good deal finder because, you know, lately, GAC 800 is one thing I'm trying to find like the best price for. And, um, 
Blick has some really good stuff. They do make you pay shipping, but I've noticed if I get a, a quantity, say I need six or eight different paints, and then I go ahead and get some GAC, um, then the shipping kind of doesn't matter as much. It's still better than I'm getting at um, St. Michael's, for instance. I got uh, 32 ounces of GAC for $23, and then if you add the shipping into that, I figured it out to be about $28 for 32 ounces. At least that's me in Florida. I know not everybody has the same things if you don't live, you know, in um, the U.S., then they get great deals on golden paints from what I um, have heard. And golden paints here, gosh, they're so expensive. But we get Liquitex Basics for a great price. Uh, and they don't. So I think Liquitex Basics is a great paint. I can't always get the shades um, that I want. So that's why I tend to go for instance, a Windsor Newton or something like this burgundy is a Windsor Newton color. So <clears throat> I know you guys have noticed I, I have a lot of different paints. I'm just uh, shopping deals and then shopping shades. <laughs> shopping shades. Looking for that perfect um, Turquoise, this deep turquoise is a really nice one that I'm doing today. I haven't worked with that specific one. Um, a lot of turquoises are really, really bright. And this is a Windsor Newton deep turquoise that I cannot find with uh, that color. Now I could, you know, I have been experimenting a little bit um, on my own with creating shades which is really not that hard. But it's kind of nice for me to be able to say to you guys, this is the color, this is the brand, versus me saying, I mixed <clears throat> um, phthalo green with turquoise and came up with this color. So, hoping for some kind of earthiness. Ooh, running low on the jello already. Some earthy tones. We'll see what pops up. Literally. We'll see what pops up. I know the turquoise is not really an earthy tone, but not opposed to taking a little risk just for pops of color something that's gonna catch the eye from across the room Getting close. Boy, I mixed the perfect amount. I don't have anything left in any of the cups. So it was six colors, 120 grams of paint in each one. Sometimes I only use five colors, and that's totally fine. You don't have to use six. You don't even have to use, you can use three. You can use two, you know. Blue Dragon, uh, I used uh, 
two different blues and a whole crap load of white and um, the cells in that thing oh my gosh blue dragons I'm not sure what number of video it is if you guys haven't seen it yet but that was the easiest and most not complicated with a little more white across the board here. All right, I'm gonna get these cups out of the way and get the canvas ready. All right, here we go. Torch ready. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. So, from what I can see in the cups, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> Sometimes they struggle so hard. Now, this color combo, you guys may notice, and you may comment uh, to me and say, hey, that's the same color combo as Olivia, except for the phalo blue i switched to the deep turquoise but i love olivia and tweaking one color can completely change the whole look um because i did another painting josie um and all i did was switch one color i switched out the mag um the magenta for the vermilion orange whole painting looked different and i love it so it came out really nice too so i thought okay you know, I didn't, I didn't want a spring looking, um, painting again. It's too much of that lately. So, all right. I think, I think it's come down a little second or two more here. Don't want to be impatient. Gonna get that corner while I'm over here. That always helps. Pretty. Oh, what happened? Really lifted it too high, didn't I? It's okay. I'll um figure that out with the tilting. Hmm. Actually, never had that happen to me before. First time for everything. Oh, I did it again. Great. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> bubbles now not a lot of crazy cell action because I put two drops in six colors still if you count that that's 12 drops of spot-on treadmill belt in there so I do like a background and I'm still feeling very good about this I don't need it to explode with cells they're gonna come out when I hit it with the torch. I just want to give it just a second or two.
that sells at all. Hmm. Hope that wasn't a mistake. I said I wanted a background. I don't know if I want this much. <laughs> towards me first but because of that area that is pouring there hope you guys can see sorry if you can't Now I don't usually do this. These are really nice cells. There's very few of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and torch again before I go that way. lots of air bubbles and I did I did see that I brought up some more I'm a little worried about this side this corner over here I'm wondering if I should do something about it now Wiggle, wiggle, shake, shake down that way. Boy, I really kind of skimped down on the amount of paint for this gallery wrapped. When you do a gallery wrapped, as I'm reminding myself here, um, you need a little more paint. All right, Christine. You know that. But it's actually been a minute since I've done a gallery wrap. Okay, I'm not going to sacrifice my corner uh, composition, excuse me, for my corner. Wow. Lots of background on this one. Oh, I like it. I like it.
I am absorbing. I like it, but I am gonna torch again. So see the difference? If you want background, you can control it. So I think I did, you know, by going instead of three each cup, which was my, which is my norm, to two, it's not gonna be too busy. You know, what did it teach us uh, when I did this one? And, uh, you know, you got that beautiful background. And with the spring theme one, that thing exploded in cells. It's very busy. So I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, I'm looking at this. I've gotta have to mess a lot with the sides. I'm gonna torch again for more air bubble issues. I, I stretched it so thin because it was like it almost barely made it over to that side. Um, the air bubbles on thinner paint, they pop like crazy. So I'm actually feeling good about the amount of paint I did as long as I can get these sides covered with the extra, which I'm not going to bother doing that on camera. I'm happy because these lines are very straight. And I like that. I mean, sometimes they're too straight, but this is kind of fun. And the, and the cells, I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see them. But uh, yeah, thrilled, very happy. Woohoo! Awesome, colorful. I'm really glad I did the turquoise. Um, I don't regret any of the colors. I don't see anything that looks like mud, except maybe just a little bit right here goes brown. Uh, but that, again, gives it that earthy tone. So, yeah, neat-o, neat-o. Okay, I'm gonna play with it and bring you guys in for a close-up. Okay, there it is, everybody. That's the whole thing. And I'm gonna go in a little closer. Start at the bottom. I love it. Look at the nice cells. They're the ringed cells. Nice striped background. Very pretty. The cells that I have here are, they're pretty big. I mean, they're dime size or bigger. Not that I'm going for huge. I kind of learned I don't really like huge. Look at those bright ones. More ring cells. Multicolors. And a fun little group. I like it. So you can control how many cells you want by how much silicone you put in. And these seem to be large. I mean, here, let me put my hand down. Uh, what is that? Compared to my hand. Pretty big. Not a whole bunch of little ones, which looks better, in my opinion, across the room. Now, I, I would change, there's always something, right guys? I didn't have enough to go over the edges, so my edge right there 
doesn't look super great. <laughs> so next time I do a gallery wrap, I have to remember to mix a little bit more paint. But I'll, I'll uh, let you guys see it when it's dry and uh, on another video. And um, I hope that you learned something or just enjoyed it. I know I did. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already uh, and you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe and I'll keep making videos. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy pouring.